What up, guys? Welcome to it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. back. We welcome hope everybody is great. We hope everybody is doing amazing. Yeah. Hope everybody is doing amazing. And uh, it's been a while since we sat down. It's not a while. Not a while, but it feels like it's a while for us, right? It's not half. Has it been a while? I think there's been vlogs. Just, just been vlogs. No, yes. No. no. Maybe then it's just us. Hi. Thank you. Uh, welcome in Welcome back, guys. Everybody. We hope that y'all are um, proper, y'all are chilling, y'all are enjoying this load shedding because, because hey, it's got you, us by the knuckles yeah, and by you gotta, the... you gotta find something to do in this load shedding. Unfortunately, you're not gonna sit here and just F around because you know, it forces you to. You know my something. thing with this whole Eskom and load shedding mm. is that they really tell you that we're gonna switch off and there's nothing you can do about it, B. Like, live with it. Yeah, like, the thing is with what one thing I've noticed with South Africans, and uh, I say this loosely because I haven't lived in any other country, but South Africans are very understanding when it doesn't affect them. Yeah, alone. Hey? South Africans are very understanding if it doesn't affect them. Yes, alone. yes. It's, it's, it's a thing of, I think there was. So uh, if my wanna and then you look by your neighbor, you see electricity is also yes. like, ah, okay. That, that was something I wanted to go by. I think it was on radio where they said, we are very calm, very understanding because if now the lights are go going off, mm. you wonder if it is it just me, is it just me, you worry, you stress. I don't think and it was then radio. when you go. To, I don't think it was radio, I think it was me. Oh, was it? Yeah. Probably uh, yeah. my radio. <laughs> yeah, radio active. But yeah, uh, welcome back guys. We hope everybody's been doing great in this yeah. f up time in our country. It's very dark. We are very dark time. See what very you did there, uh, love it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's also matric dance season, hey? It's matric dance season. And for me, it's like... Also, ma matriculants are writing exams and electricity is gone. It's gone. How? But so also, matric dance season. Yeah. Nah, was it not always July time? It's just... After no, 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 no. For you, for, exams, for you guys that went private schools. For you guys that <laughs> went to the, the water school and all these other. So schools. you guys was almost at and the all end these of other schools that claim to be teaching. Um, so in the hood, you would know that metric dance is usually around November. So before the fourth term, because now did we go after or before? Ah, uh, now I don't remember. But I think it I was think November. I think Hekehopola, like literally, I, I don't know, maybe it was there in 2015. Like nah, our matric dance with other schools as well. That you just told them you went to matric in, in Ah, matric but day. still. They know now. Yeah, right? nah. Um, yeah. Then I remember there was a lot of fuss and a lot of rave around with a lot of matriculants, not only from our school, but other schools as well. So yeah. I always assumed that matric season was always July. -ish. Oh yeah. I'm not sure. I know, okay, one thing I'm certain of it is that it's not July. We did not go in July. We did not go in August. Then it was we May. might have happened in September. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Definitely not any time uh, sooner than that. Uh, then September, no. Yeah, so we've been seeing a lot of posts on social media of designers, of yeah. matriculants, where they're posting their matric dance mm. photos, and it had gotten us uh, reminiscing of our matric, my, our matric dance. Yeah. And we shared a bit with each other, and we're like, let's shoot it. You know let's... what was in season when I went to matric? What? Guest jeans. What? Yeah. Guest jeans. Guest jeans, yeah. <laughs> Guest jeans so were in season. A lot of people were Edgar's like talking. Were, Edgar's was eating around that time. You, Edgar's in child, in... our money. Guest jeans, Cavella. Yeah. Um, yeah, shirts. And you're exposing your age, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, for those of you that wonder when did I go to matric, it was in 2010. So, yeah. So, so guess jeans, Cavella, and I just forgot the other thing. Mm. But in terms of tops, it was everybody's game at the time. So but it was semi casual, you guys' metric dance because guess jeans and. Yeah, no, Cavella. everybody wanted to be in a guess jean. So, Gyadi jean. Yeah, the well. Dance, almost like the guys. Yeah, also remember they were expensive. Yes. And when I say expensive, obviously that's relative to other people. Yeah. But wearing a 
jeans that cost about 700 bucks when you're a when you're, school yeah. kid it's, it was a bit you know a bit yeah. yeah so you needed to adjust to it and yeah so guest jeans were in season yeah i remember my mom wanted to buy me guest jeans as little did as did you as, wear them right yeah, 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 yeah. as wow. little as she earned she also how many metric yeah. metric dances did two, you go to two, yeah. ah, i'm going to one yeah. So yeah, we just want to share I was, about. I was hot property during my time. So I couldn't just go for one. I was booked and busy. Wow. Ooh, wow. <laughs> so we just thought uh, let's share our experience with prepping, yeah. um, leading to the metric dance. Yes. What the expectations were, what the mm. outcomes were, what were your mm. highlights, mm. what were your disappointments, and all of that. And if you do have pictures, let's share them yeah. with you. I guys, wish I could you know? share my pictures. But I'm convinced. When are we gonna drop this episode? As soon as we can. Ah, okay. Then I'm not gonna find them. But it's fine. Okay. I was convinced. If we don't put the pictures here, I swear on the next uh, episode, we're just I'll, gonna. Hoy I'll just show them at the end so oh, that you guys okay. can see. But but yeah um yeah wow. Yeah. So how was your metric prep? Prep. Yeah, like leading, like when oh, you excited. Oh. Uh, okay. So there were two things that were happening in my life at the time. One, my parents couldn't afford to get me the outfit I wanted, like mm -hmm. a suit and whatnot, whatnot. So I, I, I couldn't, they couldn't get me that. Yeah. But my uncle, my mm -hmm. um, he had a wife at the time. Yeah. And he gave me money without the wife knowing because she would oh. get mad. Because I remember even when he gave me the money, ne? Was like on some. Gaspir. Yeah, like the wife was Sheesh, in the room with us. Sheesh, really. And then he was like, just like. Ah oh, man. And then yeah, no, that man is for me. That's why we, even till today, we're tight. You know, he's oh, how man, many old? Sweet. How many years older than me? Probably, twenty nine years older than that's me. That's very sweet. If I'm not, yeah. So so he gave me that money, right? And oh, you know what was also in season. What? Believe it or not, guys, Uzi. You know that Uzi is worn by thugs in uh, sorry, I might be fumbling the bag here. Yeah? Uh, but you guys know but what I mean. <laughs> uh, the stereotype of Uzi. True words. You know I don't mean it that way. But bring the bag. <laughs> but yeah, so Uzi, the brand name. The brand name yeah. Uzi was, was top, right? Yeah. Uh, also, we were young, so we also didn't understand what really we wanted to wear. You know, on mm -hmm. So I wore a. I went to get a, a shirt. I remember the price. It was three hundred and thirty red at True Words. It was a like a formal shirt, a blue. It was royal uh, navy, you know, royal blue. Mm -hmm. um, it had a, an Uzi sign here. I couldn't stop sitting like this because the Uzi sign was out here. You don't understand. So yeah, I, oh, I wore an Uzi shirt to to my metric dance uh, and there's a belt that I also bought from Truett and I got the guest jeans from Edgar's and on the feet, I th I'm not sure what I was wearing but I, I was probably wearing formal shoes that I already had because those, those were the only things that made sense if not, yeah, I think I was wearing the formal shoes so yeah. leading up to metric dance Two things were my, were my problem transport and clothing. So, clothing, my uncle sorted me out there, sorted my, me out, got like what I needed to buy and whatnot, and then I started working. And then, with regards to transport, uh, Papiti, mm. my homeboy, mm. uh, his uncle, so my homeboy's uncle was a, like a proper tender dude, like a proper clean tender dude. And back then, he had a, a Mercedes-Benz uh, AMG, the C-Class. For those of you guys that know cars, it's the W205, that car. The AMG with the big bumpers, big badge, sunroof, born a full house, clean. So, uh, my uncle was supposed to take me to my metric dance. And the last day, two hours before, I think he called Either like uh, Sopa's brother, or my friend's brother, and said I can't make it, take him or something like that. But oh, they also couldn't take me, you know. And yes, yeah, the only person who I could think of. And remember, this guy they used to fear him. And when I say fear, I think it was more like respect in the hood because he had mula. You see? Cool. Then I'm like, okay, let me go approach this man. Approach this man. Tell him exactly what's what's going on. Hey, Minier, I've got this issue. Like, ah, I'm fine, I can relax. I got you. Relax. We get into the car. 
I was like, where are we picking up your date? I'm like, I know, don't know, I'll show you. I'm thinking this man, when we pop pull up there, is going to just like maybe drop me off there. Okay, stop there. Uh, this was just a question about the prep. Yeah, that's the prep. Okay. So, uh, I, in my head, I'm thinking he's just gonna drop me off there. I need to come up with a plan. Luckily, I had a bit of money, like coin, um, notes that I could use should things go south, maybe in Karamela Taxi or catch a taxi somewhere or whatever but that didn't happen the man stayed with me and we picked up the what's what's the the date and we went to the school and yeah was we, it at your school yeah we were no 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 we we took the bus from the school because we we took a bus to the thingy to the venue the venue yeah. you know where our metric dance was mm-hmm. at tuscan barbecue in in Hrunkluf. oh is it yeah oh, okay cool yeah cool. so that was the prep yeah, yeah. yeah. How was your prep? my prep um let me let me just say this growing up and being young i always hadn't had my own voice so okay. when it came to certain you, things uh, i couldn't voice out because i always how do you voice out when you're not no like for me i i couldn't have my own opinion especially when it came to my mom like i always for some odd reason uh-huh. like if my mom said something that was final without me having to argue like make it have in a sort of way oh, okay. right yeah. so when it came to me having to sit down and talk to her about my matric dance yeah. i was very nervous yeah. and then she was like okay we need to find a dress we started googling started searching and then we found this company in cape town yeah. where they make dresses perfect you okay. see what i'm saying about these model c hands <laughs> The whole entire family is googling for fucking Cape Town. <laughs> so looking no, for a dress. so so, the, mean, so there were dresses around and designers, but we oh. saw that this place comes with d- dresses already done. All right. Uh-huh. So we contacted the lady, and she's like, "No, I actually have a sister of mine who's in Centurion, mm. so she'll take your measurement mm. and then send them to me, and then the." The dress can be delivered to her or I can okay. courier it to you. Yeah. So fine, we go to a sister, they measure my dress, all of that, fine. Um, we found the dress that I liked. And then it came to my date. I had a date in mind, right? Mm. But my mom was like, it ain't happening since like as in no no boys. You yeah, know? it ain't happening. No, the boys that I wanted. He's like, it's not the a boys. Gift. Like, no, the boy that I wanted to go with. Okay. She was like, it ain't happening, sis. It ain't happening. I'm choosing for you because I needed to be somebody and you, that and I And she know. picked someone from church. And he picked a, um, without cussing, a donkey. Eh. My mom eh, picked a donkey. When I miss the donkey, you know yourself. My mom picked a donkey for me. And I, ha- yeah, so the prep, when that part wait, came, wait. I was so discouraged. Was he boring or what? He, he wasn't. An ass. Yeah. Yeah, but like, what? Why? Like, uh, we'll get to that. Okay. Ah, uh, but yeah, my mom chose, and him, ch- and my mom choosing was also because the family was kind of moneyed, right? Mm. And that mean my date came with a car. Okay. Right. So I got my date and car and dress. Okay. Right? So that was the preparation, but already because of I hadn't chosen the date that I wanted, I was kind of not feeling it as much, mm, right? But you have to go with. The I flow. have to go with the flow. Yeah. I am hoping that my mom knows what's best for me, and I mean, I mean, what I'm, I'm still a teenager mm. practically, and then matric dance came. Before even matric dance came, my dress came I think a week before, mm-hmm. and I had fittings. My dress guys couldn't go down my thighs. A like week my before. Dress. Yes, when so, I got the dress. But you still had time. My dress couldn't go down. I took the dress to get altered. My dress was still not going down. And the days are going. Right? Yeah. I'm trying my dress on. This dress is not fitting me at all. Mm-hmm. The last day, I went to the lady. The dress from Cape Town. Yes, I went to the lady and my dress was a mess. Like... Okay, did you look at my to try and patch was it up? Was this your dress or it was rented? It was my dress. Oh, okay. But now, Unti did you look at my and she's patching here so that it can fit, but now it's lost shape, it's looking ugly, it doesn't match. Oh my gosh, I was literally ready to say, I don't want to go anymore. But my mom was like, No, you're going out, you're looking so good. And I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, I look like. A clown. Like literally, I felt like a clown. Even my shoes my mom chose for me. Oh my God. Yeah. But the only thing that I was happy with was the fact that I was wearing a Brazilian weave, which was in vain. 
That was the only thing, right? Yeah. Then, so you got to matric dance, and then how was it? Um, it was okay. Um, I was quite a popular kid in school, right? Mm. Only in metric around the time, quite a, I used to hang out with quite a clique. Yeah. So it was chilled. I don't even remember dancing number one. I don't even remember dancing at all. That's why there's no dancing that's gonna happen at our wedding. Mm. But anyway, ah, no. so yeah, we got there. I was just more more happy about the food because the, the food was amazing. Mm. Our after party was at Murula San. Um, you all had an after party? Yeah, our after party was at Murula San. Wow. And then my taxi driver friends that used to live around my hood, well, not friends, friends, mm. but that used to live around my hood, like Khortman's store that liked me. And they came to pick me up from Woodlands. They're like, I oh, know, let's pick you up with your date. And then we went to uh, at the groove spot. And then afterwards, we took my date home. And then I went home. Cool. Then when? Um, we got there. My, we got there like the car. Okay, nearly 2015. Mm. The family had a BMW M4 when they just got in, in the gold one mm. color, right? Uh -huh. So when we got there by the entrance, sunroof opened. Gata, 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 gata. But I'm wearing this clown of a dress. Mm. Like, you know, proper car, but here's a car, here's a dress, and here's my donkey, and I look gold. Oh my god, like, guys. Yeah, guys, please remove those things. Eh? Oh, it remove was very terrible. Things. And also, he wasn't the best. I'm talking of, to you, you know. He yourself. wasn't a remove gentleman it. at all because. He I was heard, a kid, come on. He was a kid, but you know, oh, you look nice. None of that. None of that. If anything, when we got to my metric dance, oh, when it's all, he was like, oh shit, it looked like My man. My man. He was like, look at her dress. Oh, why didn't you get a dress like that? I'm like, what the hell? Why isn't your dress fitting like hers? I'm like, what the hell? What's up, mother? Go complain at Like, what the hell? Give me the card to Monsa so she's happy in No, go complain at my mom. So, yeah. but did you enjoy it? No. I didn't. On a scale had, of one to ten? Uh, two. I had a very bad experience with my metric dance because my dress went wrong. Mm. My partner was just not the pleasant of pe like he wasn't pleasant at he all. Were, yeah. The food was also not. There was that an arranged partner. Yeah, the food wasn't great at all. The music only got great like at the end. Like guys, yeah. it was a private school. Oh my god. Yeah, but also you didn't know better. I didn't know better. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, it was boring. Like an old. Now old. with mine, on a scale of one to ten, I'll give it a solid eight. I would give it a 10, but things didn't go as I yeah. wanted with other stuff, but I'll give it a solid 8. So, give us, tell us how your metric dance went. Um, also, where are your anything. pictures? Hey, Munna. Hey, my pictures are not here. I don't what know. happened to your pictures? I had pictures, like proper pictures, this thick. What happened? Uh, my, my, the person that I used to be in a relationship with, uh, I, I'm not gonna say who. Uh, it's not, I'm not gonna say the previous partner or the one before, but... Um, yeah, they got destroyed um, because the person that I went to my metric dance with was my girlfriend at the time, and we proceeded to date even two years after the the thing. Yeah. Oh. So, but they they got destroyed. So I don't know where they are. But she did at some point admit that yeah, no, I I told them. Yeah. That. My metric dance. I didn't get my my pictures paint, printed because I went to the office. They were like, "Here, your pictures." I was like, "No, I don't want any of them." They're like, "Come on, memory." Yeah. I'm like, "This was a terrible memory that I would want to lose if if I could, you know." Yeah. So I didn't get my pictures printed. Mm. If it was possible, I would really love to redo, redo my, my metric dance. Yeah. But Maybe I'll that, tell a story on how I ended up going to another metric dance. But I know thing. that's not gonna happen. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Tell us how your metric dance Tell went, but share. otherwise that's how our metric dance shows went. Yes, thank you for uh, like If there was any dancing, you also didn't say anything about dancing. Oh yeah, oh no, I danced with Kopano and her cousin. Uh, cute. That was, I didn't dance with my partner uh, at all. I lost cool. them at some point. Uh, cool. But yeah, thank you so much guys for subscribing, yep. for liking, for commenting, we sharing really and all of that. We yeah. continue to do so because come on, we're the family. Follow us on our socials. Yes. Our handles yeah. are going to be out there and in the description links and all of that support us and we appreciate we love you. you so much. Give us some topics there. Cheers. Cheers. Shop shop.